Hello and welcome to episode 13 of my Let's Play of DS9 The Fallen. My name is Will Breen, and when we left Captain Sisko, he had just successfully retaken the uh, Defiant after it was captured by the... Pause before anybody starts talking over me. Uh, after it was captured by the Dominion and we were in prison. So we broke out of prison and retook the ship all by ourselves and then brought everybody home because we're awesome. However... It's occurs to me now that we may have completely lost the orb. So that's two orbs we've lost. And there's another one out there. So let's just check these usually Objective. useless things. So when I walked out of the room, Dax spoke to me. There's something about Kira going on some mission somewhere. Let's see what that was about. Tactical data. Accessing tactical data. Nope, nope, nope. Ulysses, oh, that's what we've done. SR3. Um, oh yeah, we've been there. Hasterat, what? Okay, I think this was mentioned. Access granted. Right, this is written by... Oh! Elim Garrick. Very good. So... Hasteral is apparently an Obsidian Order research facility, or has an Obsidian Order research facility on it. Looks a great deal like Earth in that photo, but we'll brush over that. So, sorry I have to move the text up and down a bit. My recording fob is kind of in the way of it. Right, Prefect Terrell has been busy on Hasteral. Oh, she's the lady who stole the first orb that was under our noses for six years. Not that I'm bitter. Uh, Garak sources indicate that the research facility has been recently outfitted with all manner of advanced defensive hardware. Oh good. Sentry turrets, gravitic mines, disruptor fields, surveillance nodes, not to mention an entire regiment of elite obsidian order troops. Good. I suppose we're going there then. Long range scans detect signs of vertoron emissions from beneath the planet's surface. That's the thing that you sense before you find an orb. Uh, since Terrell's lab is still intact, we must assume that she has made progress in her ability to control the power of the Parwraith orb. We do not have much time. Yes, her last orb stuck to people in the wall for six years. We do not have much chance of success either, but at the very least it should be an entertaining <laughs> fight. Yes, that's definitely Garrick, alright. Accessing else? tactical data. Tactical okay. access granted. Accessing Ow. tactical data. Mission objective. Stupid. Log. Oh, so this is what Dax said before we logged out. Um, Major's transceiver implant will let her secretly communicate with us during her mission on Hasteral. But to avoid detection, she'll need to maintain radio silence for the majority of her mission. What is her mission? I've uploaded all the information I have on Terrell's research facility to your pad. The base is protected by sentry turrets, yep. gravitic mines, yep. disruptor fields, yep. surveillance nodes, and yep. a garrison of armed guards. Yep. I won't lie. Our chances of success are minuscule, but at least it promises to be entertaining. Yep. It's so much better hearing you say it than reading it in my voice. Right, anybody else got anything? Ow. You know, anything about what the hell Kira is up to? That's not O'Brien, is it? Sir? No. Sir. Nameless Ensign. Right, I have a walk button. Ooh, what that? Is that a fire extinguisher? If all else fails, all the else sorium fails. charges I am going to place throughout the facility will terminate Terrell's experiments. That's a sorium it charge. Come to that. But if it does, I will not hesitate. If all else fails, the sorium charges yeah, I heard you the first time. throughout the facility will oh, terminate so Terrell's glitchy. experiments. I hope it does not come to that. But if it does, I will not hesitate. So, he's going to put these charges down there and blow them up and hope that nobody notices that they have Federation insignia all over them. O'Brien, oh, get us under. Got a job I've for you. modified the Defiant sensor pallets. They'll be fully shielded from plasma storm disruptions once we enter the Badlands. I just hope the course that Garrick's informant plotted for us steers clear of the worst of it. 
Brian, I feel like that's something we should have done years ago, seeing as we go to the Badlands about every two weeks in this game. Oh, that's Garak over there. Alright, I'm off. Don't know where Kira's gone, but I suppose I'd have to play that section of the game to find out. Wait, I've not been in my office. I came in in the lift, didn't I? I don't think there's anything in there, but I can go back and have a look, so I'm going to. Just a moment, folks. Thankfully, the turbo lifts are quite quick. Hence the name, Turbo. Hmm. Probably nothing, but no. Then there might be some kind of explanation in here. Wishful thinking. Just that ball. Off we go. Quite unsettling how it stops halfway through. Uh, Odo, got anything useful to say? Any kind of background information we'll would be great. maintain increased security while the orb remains on the station. Yep. Good luck on your mission. There's an orb on the station. We did get it back. Oh, right, I was wrong. I assume that whilst we're in prison, they stuffed it off to some research facility somewhere, and that's where we're going to blow stuff up. Oh, fair enough. Missed that. Ah, oh, that's not Admiral What's it, Ross, it's just some random ensign. I if Quark's got anything kind of educational to add. Go on. That's quite a surgical feat. Transforming Major Kira into a Cardassian. What? You know, I told Dr. Bashir I have a lot of clients who pay good latinum to have their appearance transformed like that. Of course, he gave me the big Starfleet speech about how it's more important to save lives than to make profit. Blah, blah, blah. I tried to tell him that by changing their appearance, he would be saving their lives. And making a tidy profit at the same time. Oh, humans. <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe the doctors. So, Kira looks like a Cardassian. That's not an original plot line, but it works. Don't know why. You're not Sir? a doctor. You're just some nameless gimp. Um, Ensign. Oh my so, goodness. How do I look? I it was a little Cardassian. over three years ago that the Obsidian Order kidnapped me and altered my appearance to resemble Legate Gamor's daughter, Ileana. <laughs> Somehow, using a similar ruse to deceive the Obsidian Order has a certain ironic justice. I'll be assuming the identity of Alira Rajal, a recently recruited scientist who was supposed to be leaving for Hasteral tomorrow. Garrick has seen to it that I'll take her place on the shuttle. Well, her that transformation is remarkable, isn't it? It's a work of genius, a masterpiece, if I say so myself. Seriously, her appearance should stand up to any cursory inspection. I just hope the Obsidian Order doesn't subject her to a genetic examination. Well, at least that ties in with the story where they did this before. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I'll go with it. Um, I don't think there's anybody else to speak to. We're just going to go to this place that Garrick said we're almost certainly going to be killed at. Off we go then. O'Brien has finally made the ship safe to fly in the immediate vicinity of the station. Good job. Pelican. Gonna have him scrub it out until I let's go. Mr. Garrick's sources have confirmed that Terrell brought the stolen orb to Hasteral, a planet located inside the Badlands. Long range scans have detected severe subspatial disruptions on the planet's surface. Which could mean Terrell is close to developing a working weapon. Our mission is clear. Infiltrate the Obsidian Order base on the surface. Hold Terrell's research and recover the orb. 
Well, at least we didn't say we were going to cloak and then not cloak. Major Kira right, has been surgically altered to resemble a Cardassian in order to assume the identity of Alira Rijal, a junior science officer recently assigned to the base on Hostoral. Yeah, Traveling no, to the well. base aboard a Cardassian transport, oh, Major Kira will attempt to infiltrate the facility and enable Worf and myself to beam down and retrieve the orb. Garak is with us. Always a fun mission when Garak's there. He might decide to betray us for reasons known only to himself. So once again the captain is going feet first into this mission, okay. Looks safe. There's a lot of transport light. I never noticed that before. Whoop, mine. Another mine. So as away missions go, that started as a disaster. Um, I don't know why I was so obsessed with scanning the thing. Whoop. It's nice that they have little lighthouse-like effects so you can see which way they're locking. That's good. We shall be doing stealthing, it seems. Okay, I'm going to run across here and hope it doesn't hit me. Those bullets travel quite slowly. It's too far away to scan. That's annoying. What? Not too far away that it can't shoot me. Mine's down there on that cliff. Why? If I fall down there, I'm dead. Right, it's not the most persistent automated turret in the world, so I'll just leave it be. Um... Genuinely don't know where I'm going. The uh, tricorder has these like red crosses on it that show you objectives. I think. I think this vaguely purple direction is where we should be going. So we've still got the defiant support at this time, which counts for very little. I can transport things in at arbitrary points in the game. Okay, so we found the mine there. Let's. Do a bit of mine clearance. There we go. Ow, ow, ow! Stuck on terrain! How far can that thing reach? Is that a mine or just a bit of lost? just don't know anymore. I'm not detecting any more mines. But, uh, you know. That. Is that just a... Oh wait, somebody's contacting me. Which one is it? Garrick. Garrick, I've located yeah. the external exhaust port. A lot of crime inside there, Captain. Not unless you're immune to thorinite gas. I think the cargo sledge is your only viable option for infiltration. Acknowledged. Says go out. An obsidian order agent, and he's not spotted me yet. Drop your weapon! Uh, uh, ah. Now he's dead. Right, Dax. What have you got to say? Says go to Dax. I've located Same the thing. external exhaust port. Ben, you won't be oh, able there to it is. The, port. the Thornite would kill you instantly. Use the cargo sled to enter the base. Okay. Says go out. From now on, I'm just going to get advice from. Ooh, you pick up ammo from these guys now, that's good. It's wearing a skirt. How oh, very modern. Um, yes, I'm going to take advice from Garrett first and foremost, because at least it'll be funny when he says it. Dax is great and all, but when she's in serious mode, she's just a 
Starfleet Dullard. Waste venting system. Caution, thoronide gas. Blah de blah de blah. Exploding barrels. It's a barrel that almost certainly explodes. Uh, I suppose that's the facility we're breaking into to blow it up and stop them blowing people up. Whoop. How did you nail me? Well, they did say obsidian order, so they are supposedly crack shots. Any free stuff around here? No. Canisters. Ooh, crate of disruptor cell ammo. Take that. Yep. Shoot the crate. Oh, I'm full already. Hmm. Huh. Don't even have a disruptor. Okay, let's keep uh, scanning. Find our way inside. Something about a cargo cell. Ah, and this will be the equivalent of um, press this and all hell breaks loose from. Which, amazingly, in the prison level, I managed to not do, I think. I might have done it once. When the uh, prison guards just started attacking me en masse. Mine. Different mine. Shoot mines. Can't lock onto these. Requiring me to aim. There we go. Any more? Oop, there's one. Apparently they come in packs of three. Oop. Oop. They spotted me. I'm missing people. Ah, damn it. Ah, uh, this is not going well. Time for big guns. Dang, never. Ow. Really should have saved. Alright, alright. No! How can you have so much range? It's an unnatural amount of range. Shoot! Uh oh. He just carries on walking. <laughs> best of the best, apparently. Oh, I'm not missing the chance to speak to Garrick again. Garrick, I've located the external exhaust port. I wouldn't climb inside there, Captain. Not unless you're immune to thoronite gas. I think the cargo sled is your only viable option for infiltration. Acknowledged. Cisco out. Murder is part of the job. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Dax, you want to tell us the thing that you just heard us speak to the other bloke? Because you're in the same room. Pesky lines. Stay close to the wall so that these guys in the distance don't see us. Set off the alarm and send out the death squad. Right. Can we go around this way, maybe? Whoop, that's walk. Hmm. 
No, oh, that must be the cargo sled everyone's talking about. Not that my scanner can reach that far, look. Range on this thing's like five mi five meters or something. Getting interference from snow. Ooh, a person! Maybe I can snipe them. Wait. Yes! Long range murdering. Oh, glitches in snow terrain. That's so obvious. Right, let's see if we can snipe some folks again. Oh, good, he just ran straight at me rather than, I don't know, telling his mate or setting off the alarm. Good. That's two. I think there were only two. Yes, yeah, very good. Right, cargo sled. Right, let's keep this thing out. We don't know where there are more mines, do we? Ooh, there's a watchtower of some kind up there. I feel like if we get on the cargo sled, the watchtower will just shoot us straight away. Ow! Or just the automated turrets of doom that can see you from a mile away. Okay. Good. Ooh, is that a mine? Not anymore, it's not. Oh, spotted us. If only they had some kind of portable communications device, then they wouldn't, you know, have to run across the entire world to um, alert somebody. Ah, oh, why am I giving them ideas? Ammo, yep. For a weapon I don't have. Which, for some reason, I've not kept with me. You know... Because ammo is such a problem, and I apparently have an unlimited ability to carry ammo. Huh. He was saying something, but uh, I interrupted him. Ooh, level one pass. Good. Always need pass keys in this game. What's in there? Stuff for me. Ooh! Don't press that. That's the alarm. Can I switch off the turrets here, maybe? I think he was saying the turrets seem to be going off and he's not worked out why. Famous last words. I'm sure Gareth would have found that very amusing. I wonder. Cisco to Garrick. What else do you know about the installation? Nothing specific at this time. I'll let you know if the situation changes. Understood. Sis, go out. Nothing. Alright. Let's get our scoped weapon out. Uh, actually, let's get our scanning for mines tool out. And possibly people who might want to shoot me. Oh, are you kidding me? Nope, it can still see me. Fine. I'm going to crouch as far as the end of here and then make a run for it. I'm not going to go straight on the sled. I'm going to go up there to what appears to be a landing pad for a ship. Maybe there's stuff. Run, 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 run. Get a gun out. Huh. It's just a ship and I can't jump up onto it. Not sure why I would. Can't go under it. Is there only one guy guarding this whole launch pad thing? Is that the same shuttle? Ah! Mines! Okay, there's one guy in a load of mines. 
I think that was the same, same shuttle that uh, brought all those Cardassians on the ship in the first, the first station in the first place. Why am I using this? I'm wasting perfectly good ammunition. Okay, there are two guys. But yeah, this is the same shuttle that came to the station before and had all those troops on it, and Garrick said, hmm, that's an odd sized shuttle. And as it turns out, yes, it was quite large for his job. Because it had a lot of military guys on board hiding in transporter stasis or something. Oda was sad that he didn't figure it out. Ooh, I know. Probably. Hypo spray. I'll do a hypo spray. Military clearance level one. You mean this? Oh, what's going on? Okay, so we're hiding on it whilst it slowly... What are they doing with those guns? Are they drawing their name in the snow? Yeah. This is how we get inside, apparently. So that's our plan. We're going to hide inside some... in between some boxes. And nobody's going... We're not even going to climb in a box. I thought we were doing Metal Gear Cisco again. Oh well. Okay, it worked. Fine. <laughs> I'll go with that. Crouch. Right, what's going on here? Camera. Uh huh, and it's pointed right at us. No alarms have gone off yet. Can of explosive stuff. Shh. I've shut down the facility surveillance nodes, proceeding to the next objective. Acknowledged. Oh. Oh yeah, the light's gone off on it. Very good. Okay, you can carry on interrupting. Cardassian, I think he's still outside, so we don't need to worry about him. And there's a Cardassian agent not very far away with a gun. Okay, let's uh, get out and kill them. Oh, he's gone. Ah. No. No, I'm going to let you stand there in the doorway. Wait. That sounded like he died. Anybody else? No, can I come and investigate these corpses suddenly vaporizing? <laughs> okay. Fine. Go on with it. Ooh, ladders. Is there stuff? None in that. Stuff up here. Yes, there's stuff over there, I think. Ooh, fireworks. Health! Useful. Okay, yeah, that's not a box. For the sake of me progressing anyway, it's not a box. What precisely am I doing? I keep forgetting. Mission objectives. Access Thornide Processor Station, shut down the reactor, infiltrate, research facility and research orb. Easy. Shopping list. Okay. If you recognise this uniform, it's the very same one that uh, Picard wore from 
Beverly. All war, when they went on an anti-Cardassian mission once. The famous There Are Only Four Lights episode. Many, many memes to that effect. Right. Okie dokie. Buildings. Watchtowers. Other stuff. Oh, that's... That's the main gate, and that's like another gate that we went inside of. Okay. Got my bearings, sort of. So, anywhere away from here is progress. Ooh, is this loot? Ow! I feel like I've missed an opportunity to pick up a second weapon at some point. I probably have. These doors don't seem to do out. I feel like I should have my uh, trusty little tricorder out for this mission. Yes, exploding barrels, all very good. Yep. One guy. Okay, okay. Best of the best, are they? Another high power spray. Always useful. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Phaser cannon. Disruptor pulse weapon. Automated tracking. And it's decided it's going to vaporize us. Oh dear. So yes. Okay. Right. It's been half an hour. I'm going to put a pin in it there. And we'll come back next time and continue breaking into this place and blowing it up and stealing stuff. Sound good? Good. If you have been, thank you for watching. I've been Wolverine. This has been DS9 The Fallen. Tatty bye and stay safe.